Life Grace Ministries International, venue at 80 Parchmore Road, Thornton Heathrow, Croydon, CR7, 8LW. Our services, Sunday Breakthrough Power by the Holy Spirit, service at 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Thursday, Power Prayer, Deliverance and Communion Services. First Friday of every month, Night Vigil, Miracle Hour at 7 p.m. Visit Life Grace Bookshop for Christian book, audio, videotapes, leadership, inspirational book. We are waiting to see you and will be happy to welcome Apostle Vitalis Oduma. Anyone who needs something against you, I said that you're not going to survive in this country. I for prayer and counseling, call us on 020-861-79624 or 07454-981659. www.lifegraceministries.com Email info at lifegraceministries.com Hey, 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 these are good news so for the people of Amiri, Oru East local government area, Imo State. Because why? The time to liberate Amiri is here. The reason for which God sent Life Grace Ministry International for this two-day power-packed crusade to the land of Amiri, Oru East local government area. The theme of this explosive crusade now, execution for liberation of Amiri 2018. Now, 1st and 2nd of January 2018 be this Ogbonga crusade at Umocheta Central School, Amiri, Umocheta, on East local government area, Imo State, by 2 o'clock daily. Come and be blessed and liberated. Salvation go day, healing, deliverance, breakthrough, and miracles go day. Shelley, Apostle, Vitalis, and Evangelist, Grace Oduma, General Overseer, from London, and the guest minister, also ministering, Reverend Bon Greg G. Ujin from Enugu, Pastor Edwin Ojiaka, Pastor Dan Oke, and other powerful and anointed men of God, Evangelist Paul Rapuruchim, 80 Igbo worship, Nahim be the guest artist. Now, my friend, no miss execution for liberation of Amiri 2018, oh, because now opportunity to take begin the year on a powerful note. For more inquiries, call 081-000-13432 or 08065-246989. Jesus, don't ready to set you free. I the talk am again, oh, no miss amo. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. <clears throat> the Lord is good. All the time, the Lord is good. People of God, I want to use this, this opportunity to greet everyone, wherever you are now. I want to say Merry Christmas and the prosperous New Year. I'm very, very sure that God has done good for, in your life for making you to celebrate the Christmas. And I'm very sure the same God who have made it for you to celebrate Christmas will also usher you for New Year. And I'm very, very sure that God is going to do something new in your life as you enter the year 2018. Don't worry. God is going to meet all your need. People of God, wherever you are right now, who is speaking to you is Apostle Vitalis Odoma. I am the senior pastor of Life Grace Ministries international worldwide the lord has ordered my step today to be here because of you i am sure that wherever you are right now please do everything to be very focused be very persuaded to hear this word that is coming Believe me, I'm telling you, this word is not my own word. Rather, it's the word given to me from God. So many of you, things have not worked the way you want it to work. But I'm sure that God is going to do something in your life in Jesus' name. But if I enter this program fully, 
I want us to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for your children. Thank you for every good thing you are doing. Heavenly Father, Lord, I commit this program into your hand. Be present. Lead me. Speak the word. Use me to speak the word that will touch everyone. May I not speak on my own. Let the word that's coming from my mouth become a blessing to your people. As they prepare to enter into the year 2018, may this word be a word that will change their perspective, the word that will strike them up, the word that will make them to say, yes, 2017 is fine, but 2018, I will change my life. I will do something in a different way in order to get things in another different way. Thank you, Father Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Clap your hand for Jesus wherever you are. The Lord is a good God, and I'm sure he's going to bless you today. Amen and amen. Wherever you are right now, I'm sure that uh, our program is on Facebook. By the grace of God, if you, have, if you have the access of Facebook, I would like you to log in. And a good thing you do for yourself and for somebody like you like is to press the share button and I should share it. The Lord is going to do something for you. Share the, share the, um, press the share button and share it so that someone somewhere will be a partaker to enjoy what you're enjoying today. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Praise God. People of God, God is taking us to another level. Last week I spoke to the people of that, yes, after <clears throat> establishing us here in London, the Lord is taking us now to Nigeria to begin to a good work. We have already started here in the United Kingdom. By the grace of God, we'll be holding a crusade. This crusade will a, a, a crusade in Imo State. A crusade that will change people's life. This crusade, we call it execution for liberation. And the place is going to be held is in, in Amiri. We call it Amiri 2018. Amiri 2018. And uh, maybe you don't know where it's Amiri, but you are from Imo State. Maybe you are from Nigeria. Amiri is an Oru East local government. Oru East local government, Imo State, Nigeria. So wherever you, you, you can see the address, if you come to Amere, the flyers everywhere you look at there, Amere in Umecheta, or its local government, just do everything. Maybe you may not have the opportunity to be at home, but you have someone that you want God to bless. This is a crusade, two days, power crusade, two days. Do everything to be in this program or send your brother or sisters to be in this program. I'm sure it's a program to bless you in the beginning of the year. This program will start on first, start from 2 p.m. daily, on second, 2 p.m. So do everything to be there, or someone you know you want to be blessed, talk to him, send him a test right now, and let him know about the program. I'm in 2018, execution for liberation for the entire, I mean, and the entire Imo State. So many things are going around along Imo State, which the people are not uh, uh, <coughs> comfortable with. Something is not working well. The Lord is going to use this program to liberate the people of Himo State in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, people of God, I want us to quickly now open our Bible. Open our Bible in the book of um, book of um, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 10. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 10. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 10. I call this program today, Do You Know Who You Are? Do you know who you are? It's a, a big question. And this question must be answered today. I'm believing God that God will give me the, the Holy Spirit to answer this question in the way you like it. Do you know who you are? Many people are moving around thinking that they are, they are what they see, the same they are. But what, they, what you are, and what you can do. They don't know. And that's why many are still lacking. Many are still running behind. Many are still working, living on people's life, not having their own determination, their own concept, their own idea. By the grace of God, this program will touch you and change your life in Jesus' name. May I tell you something? Do you know who you are? 
I know so many watching me right now would like to know who they are. Praise God. Praise God. You are what? More than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. Because so many people does not know what they are, that is why they, they, can, they, they, they have difficulties in many things. Even though things they can be able to overcome, they find it difficult because they do not know that they are more than a conqueror. They are more than a conqueror. The Lord is going to show you something today. Because when you know who you are and understand that you are more than a conqueror, then you will be able to overcome. You will be able to take authority on yourself. You will be able to decide something knowing who you are and what is in you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. So how do you become a conqueror? How do you become more than a conqueror? Thank you, Jesus Christ. There is something here. There is something different between a conqueror or a more than a conqueror. Hear me and hear me well, people of God. There is something different between a conqueror and more than a conqueror. Praise God. Praise God. So a conqueror, a more than a conqueror, works with wisdom. A more than a conqueror works with wisdom. But a conqueror depends and relies on his strength. That's why you see a conqueror always struggle. He will struggle to conquer. But a more than a conqueror does not struggle. Everything comes easy. Because he has what it takes. Let me shock you first. Let us go to the word of God in Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3. I want to read from 10 and 12. And then I will skip. And go to number 20. Praise God. The Bible says, To the intent that, to the intent that know now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church, the manifold wisdom of God. The manifold wisdom of God. The manifold wisdom of God. In number 11, it said, According to the internal purpose according to the internal purpose which he proposed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. According to internal purpose which he proposed in our Christ Jesus, our Lord. In number 12, he said that, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. In him we have what? Boldness, confidence, that the faith in him. So there is wisdom. Wisdom will make you to become a more than a conqueror. Many people are fighting a war, a fight they can win easily. But because they are a conqueror, they have to struggle to get there. But a more than a conqueror works with wisdom. He always in time, he knows what to do. Praise God. So a difference between a conqueror is a conqueror struggles. But by the grace of God, the Lord is going to give you the wisdom that you will never struggle again in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that represents struggle in your life today is ending in the name of Jesus. I said struggle. You have struggled from January. You have struggled from uh, February. You have struggled from March. You have struggled from April. You have struggled from uh, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. And you are still struggling. Let me tell you something. I have a news for you. Your struggle is over from today in Jesus' name. As you cross over. This is the last program we are going to have this year. And this is just like an end of the year gift for you. An end of the year preparation for you. Wherever you are, you must begin the next 2018 with wisdom. 
You must be able to ask God, Father, why am I struggling? Why am I not accomplishing things when others are accomplishing their own? Why do I have to go a lot of processes before my own cup? What, have I, what am I lacking in my life? If you have wisdom, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4, it says wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. He said, get wisdom. Get understanding. So now, you can understand that for your breakthrough, for your healing, for you to become a champion, for you to become great, that is everyone's expectation, you must cue in to understand what wisdom is all about. Life is not moving around. Life is not struggle. Life is not fighting. Life is not doing, doing things as if uh, you are in a hurry. Life works and brings you to a better position when you have wisdom. Praise God. I am sure that someone is hearing my voice and I am believing God that God will change your life with this program today. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord Almighty will impart you with wisdom. Do you know who you are? Who you are now, what you are now is what, where God is taking you. You see, let me tell you something. When you see a man operating in high frequency of wisdom, everything he does or she does become a mystery. Because wisdom ushered him in every position. He don't need to struggle. He don't need to fight. Because any time challenges comes, the wisdom in him will tell him what to do. Praise God. I pray that God will give you wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ. A more than a conqueror reaches, uh, works with wisdom. He wins everything. Hallelujah. I put it here. A, a, a more than a conqueror, he smiles every time. Making news without making noise. A more than a conqueror smiles. So many people ask me, Apostle, why do you, you never feel anything? I say, why should I feel something? I know what to do. Because the Lord has given me wisdom and I still ask more. No challenges that is for me anything because I know that God will give me the wisdom to be able to know what to do. I don't struggle. I don't struggle. Uh, so many guys, we started ministry one time, they came to me and said, I'm a, I'm a man of God, I want to tap into your, uh, 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 your, your, your faith, your anointing. I said, well done. I said, why? He said, because if they don't see me struggling, since you started their ministry, never saw everything was moving. Even though they, they, even though they knew, they are, they are very close to me, they knew they fought, they fight, we are fighting. Some churches who you even come out from, they even fight, they fought you. People try to be against you, those who are, you ate together with. They have fought you. But all these things, <laughs> for me, I'm just moving forward because I don't know who is talking to my back. I don't know who is so, uh, uh, trying to, uh, uh, you know, when they, whenever they are doing so, I don't, I don't even remember that somebody is talking because I know that I'm moving forward. Because I know what I know because the wisdom of God is operating. So before they start, I'm already overtaking. I see you overtaking the name of Jesus Christ. I see God making you a champion in the name of Jesus Christ. Year 2007 is a good year. But I am praying for you that God will take you to the next year in a high a flying color that you will never struggle for anything again. Struggle is over in your life in Jesus' name. You are struggling for getting papers. You are struggling to marry. You are struggling even to eat. Even to pay a house rent. Even to your uh, 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 family you have with your wife or your husband, you always struggle. Children struggling. Is that what, why you came to this world to do? No. There is something you lack. And that you lack, God is going to impart it to you today. Wisdom is going to catapult you in the name of Jesus Christ. So, people of God, what is wisdom? When we're talking about wisdom, we know we we meant to understand that a man of wisdom is a man of more uh, 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 is a, more than a conqueror. 
And there is nothing that it has to do with struggling. Praise God. Praise God. Have you asked yourself why others are moving on? You start a business with somebody and then you, some people will be running and you are locking behind. Even though maybe your, your, your money or your finance that you started business with may be bigger than the other person. But because the other person has wisdom, operating with wisdom of God, you see, you, you see him moving, you begin to ask yourself, ah, uh -uh, are we not together, even though I have a, a more capital than them? Uh -huh. But you see yourself lagging. You see a marriage, people enjoying marriage. I used to tell people who know me very well, or uh, whenever I'm preaching, I say, yes, I am do what? I enjoy marriage. My prayer for anyone that marry is to, is to have a kind of marriage I marry. I have. I enjoy it. I'm not enjoying it. Because the wisdom to move the marriage, the wisdom to live as husband and wife is already there. So that's why there's no struggle. Whether, there is, whether money is there or no money, whether anything is, uh, uh, whether we lack or no lacking, the wisdom is there to manage it, to see how it goes. Praise God. I pray for you that God give you that wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ. No more struggle in your marriage. No more struggle in your finances. No more struggle in your status. No more struggle in your head. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I come here today to give you that, that special gift of 2007 to usher you to 2018. I come here today to make you know that there is something you are missing. Do not see yourself as because, oh, I dress well. I'm tall. I can talk well. So many people I can talk, but they don't have wisdom. So many people open their mouth, you see them that they just make it, talk, they're empty verses because nothing is in their brain. But they are talking. Not all that they are breathing are living. I pray for you that God open your eyes for you to understand what you need. The Bible says that to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in the heavenly places might be known by the church the manifest wisdom of God. So devil is subdued and suppressed. If you are working with wisdom. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, omnipotent. Thank you, omniscience. Kalabashuko bragadoli kadama segede. Rekato brogodo yagada. Rekoma kata bragada. People of God, I want to ask us, what is wisdom all about? Wisdom has many definitions. There's a lot of definitions you can define wisdom. But I have a simple one here for you. The simple one here, I have here, knowing what to do at every time. Knowing what to do at every time. Okay, in another way, knowing what to do when you don't know what to do. Praise God. So at all time, you are at the point. At all time, you are moving forward. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, when we, when we refer to what we are talking, compare in the Bible, we had a man called Saul in the Bible. The Bible recorded that Saul is what? A conqueror. Saul was a conqueror. During that time, he was a conqueror. Every time he was struggling to get it. But there's someone who is what? A more than a conqueror. Someone came and became a more than a conqueror. That is David. So when you look at this place, you can, these two things, you understand. Maybe you see, oh, Saul is a, was a great man. But there is another greater that came who did not struggle. Saul was in a job party when Goliath was terrorizing the whole of the people of Israel. He was struggling to see if he can go close to Goliath. Goliath was bulldozing. Goliath was uh, uh, suppressing them. Goliath was saying all sorts of things to the people of uh, uh, Israel. They couldn't do anything. Saul was struggling with his people, trying to see a way, looking for a means, alternatives to come out of this great man. But when a man with wisdom came in, he doesn't need to talk too much. He doesn't need to struggle. But the wisdom of God was suppressing him. And when David came out, he said, yes, let me go. He said, let me go. Thank you, Jesus Christ. David came out and he fought. He didn't fight. He just did. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let, 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 me, let, let, me, let, let us read in somewhere in Daniel. Hallelujah. Daniel chapter 5 verse 12. Thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Daniel chapter 5, verse 12. Oh, my kalabashi kalabakundelebus. 
Someone is going to change life today. What you are looking up is already in you. You just need to know what to do and know how to assess it and you see it happening in your life. Becoming a more than a conqueror means that you have to operate in a frequency, high frequency, walking in wisdom. Walking in wisdom. Hallelujah. Follow me to the book of Daniel chapter 5 verse 12. 12 to 15 if time will permit me. Very soon I will, the line will be opening by the grace of God. Someone want to change level. Someone want to be imparted. The wisdom of God. That power. You see let me tell you something. You can content power. Power can be contented. But wisdom is uncontentable. You can't contend wisdom. So that's why I see people struggling, simple fighting, because uh, power, power, yes, he can fight power, but the man of wisdom, don't, there is nothing. He does not need to struggle. He can't contend with wisdom because he doesn't see it. It's already in the brain. It's working. Praise God. I feel something in my mind right now, in my spirit, something is moving. Someone listening to me, I see God imparting with a great wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see God impart you with great wisdom today. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Yes, follow me, the, the word of God in Daniel. Daniel chapter 5. Daniel chapter 5, verse 12. The Bible says something interesting. It said, For as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding interpreting of dreams and shewing of hard sentences and dissolving of doubts we are found in the same Daniel. Thank you, Jesus. Was what? Found in the same Daniel. Whom the king uh, whom the king Bethesia now be let Daniel be called. Let Daniel be called and he will shew the interpretation. Then was Daniel brought in before the king, and the king spake and said unto Daniel, Art thou that David, Daniel, which art of children of the captivity of Judah, whom the king my father brought out of Judah? I have even heard of thee, that the spirit of the gods is in thee, and the light of understanding and excellent wisdom is found in thee. Is found in him because wisdom. It is because listen, other people were fighting. Things was the, the, the kind of dream the king dreamed was extraordinary that he don't know what to do. Now he began to look for a solution. He began to look for solution. People can come to you today because of what you have, what is operating in you. That's why when a country is having problems, they are looking for solution. Who are they going to meet? Those who know it. Those who have wisdom. Those who God, God, God has given wisdom. The king dreamed and the king don't know what to do. The king was, was afraid. Fear gripped him. Now he began to look for someone that he's not supposed to come a, a, a call in his palace because wisdom of God and excellent wisdom and excellent wisdom was with him. Today, God is going to use this program to change your perspective. God is going to use this program to give you that wisdom that men and women will know that you are a child of God. You have struggled so much. You have wasted time so much. You have been delayed. You have been rejected because of a lack of wisdom. You think what where you are or what you are doing is what, what, what the, the way? No. The king have to call Daniel and say, "Yes, I heard. I heard." Because when you have wisdom, men and women will begin to talk for you. You, you don't even need to struggle for a job. You just need to. They will. They will. They will even write you a letter. We want you to come and manage our company. We want you to come. In fact, even though you apply for any application, immediately the interview, they are calling because you have wisdom. Even the interview will prove to the, the interviewer that you are something special, special. Because there's something in you. The king has to send 
to die for Daniel. You look at number 15 before I, 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 I come to, um, to, to, uh, to, before I open the life of course. He said, and now the wise men, the astrologers have been brought in before me that they should read this writing and make known unto me the interpretation therefore, but they could not shew the interpretation of the king. Finally, number 16, he said, and I have heard of thee that thou canst make interpretations and dissolve doubts now.